Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast, a place where we focus on the business side of art to help you attract more customers, increase profits, and ultimately live a life of creativity and financial freedom. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and I'm not sure if you know this, but every single Monday, I go live with one of my amazing Artist Academy advanced students to get to know them better and give them direct advice on their art business. You know, there are many artists who come into the Academy who go go through the content, watch the videos, and they still have some questions about their own unique art circumstances. And that's why I opened up these one-on-one chats called Student Spotlights to help answer their questions and steer them in the right direction. And today, I just wanted to share one of these with you. It's with Christy Goss, and she asked some really great questions, and I think you could just benefit from hearing the answers as well as the rest of the conversation. So let me know what you think about this week's Student Spotlight episode with our very own Christy Goss. So tell me about you. Give me the the scoop on Christy. How did you get into the art world? Okay, so I've been doing art since I was a kid, you know. Um, it's just always been something I've done. I'd like to paint. I started painting about 20 years ago, but I've never taken it to the next level and I want to make a living doing it. And I've done some Trump Loy painting for in homes, like when it was really big in the nineties, it was, I did some model homes and things of that nature. And, um, I'm wanting to get back into it. I live in a small um, mountain town and, um, the people here have offered some people um, for me to do mural care. I've approached them. So I'm really wanting to get into the mural. Business. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. There's, I, you mentioned like making a living and I, my first instinct is really just like murals because <laughs> right. you could get paid so much and people love to customize it for their business. And obviously, you know, I'm such a, <laughs> an advocate for murals. So that's so exciting. So have you ever had a, done a mural before? I would say a small, a whole room in a, I'm a salon owner or I was. And so in my salon, it was, um, the salon was called Head Hunters. And so we painted it into a tropical thing. So the whole salon was just one big mural. So that would be the only, you know, aside from window painting for people and things like that, as far as large scale. Yeah. I, I've done some nurseries, you know, walls and rooms, but never outside murals. I have a friend who has a, storage container on her property and I'm getting ready to do that yeah it's gonna be my trial run so (laughs) I need help yeah storage containers that's so funny I just got a bid or I just bid for a logo job on two storage containers and it's like they have the ribbed is that I noticed that (laughs) I know I'm like, okay, but I bid just, just to put it out there. So I, I bid for two, two logos on each container. I think I did like $600 per logo, which okay. I was even like, okay, like that's, that's like bottom because it's going to take, but anyway, so it was like a 12 and 12, $2,400 job for logos. It's going to take me a week. Like it's right, right. <laughs> like logos that's are great. just. Yeah. Yeah. So this, it's so funny too, because I feel like when I'm painting on surfaces like that, and when I'm painting on corrugated metal, people see that. And so people are going to see you do that and be like, Oh wait, I have, I have a corrugated metal building. Can you paint on that? Like, it's so funny how people's minds work. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking she sees a lot of people and it's under a horse barn and she has events there. So I know there's going to be some people, you know, that have the money to spend too. So I want it to look good. Um, yeah. And um, we're going to do like a landscape. So, and that's what I'm familiar with. So, but yeah, the corrugated metal part, I'm a little nervous about, but mm. figure it out. I have a question too. When you're doing your projections onto those surfaces, do you do them at night when you're tracing them out? Yes. And specifically, okay. like, yeah. So, okay. and cor- corrugated metal is a special kind of fun really with so like uh-huh. so I've learned that like with, with circles anywhere circles anywhere and then corrugated metal the projection is the most important part so like a, a lot of the time when I go project it'll be like right at, as the sun goes down and I'll shoot it up there and really when I can see it really well is when I'll start and so you'll kind of get a feel for whenever what's dark enough and how far you are away and how powerful your okay. projector is but and most times when I'm doing it for a mural, I'll just kind of like sketch it really quickly with chalk or, or um, paint pen, either one. But with corrugated metal and with circles anywhere, 
I will take my time and make sure it is every line is exactly where it should be because that corrugated metal, like when you're painting on it, you'll paint and you'll think it's fine and then you'll step back. And then because it's so weird, it can make mm-hmm. it look really weird, really fast. But having okay. the, the projection on there automatically evens everything oh, it out. Evens it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and great. it's just, it's everything. So I go and I like make little lines. So it's like, I'll probably do it w- with a, with a paint pen, like an oil paint pen because uh-huh. they're, they're, they're metal and I'll do it just line by line. And so that way, when I go back and paint, I'm, I'll take, I'll be very, very considerate of where those lines are. Cause the minute I start to be like, Oh, I just kind of loose with it, which I prefer to be very loose with it. It can get messed up quick. And I'm like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then what kind of paint do you like to use on containers? So or- it depends if they are painted first or not. So if they're not, it's painted. You- oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So it should be fine. Like you should Let's see. What's the rule? You can use oil. You oh, can use yeah, acrylic. You can't use, yeah. No acrylic base over oil, right? Over oil. So what I'm going to do actually is there's this new brand through Benjamin Moore called Command, C-O-M-M-A-N-D. And so it's Command, it's through Benjamin Moore. And it might be something you might have to special order. My local paint store, Seminole Decor, they, I work with them a lot and I know the owner. And so I'm always like, hey, like, let's try this. We've been trying a bunch of things. It's actually a floor paint and it's really thick. So you don't need like multiple coats over it. Okay. And so it's that really happy medium, but like it sticks to really crazy surfaces like floors or like playground equipment. So I actually just use it on playground equipment. But yeah, so this command by Benjamin more it's a bit more pricey um i think it's like 50 something bucks a gallon or so which normal exterior is about 30 to 35 and then interior you can get it for 20 to 30 maybe um so it's like double almost of what everything else is but it saves you so much time because it's so thick and it's going to stay on there forever so i've recently found that command by benjamin moore okay perfect yeah Actually, with that too, like as long as you and like you can mix your other like colors in with that too. So like if your main colors are like green and blue, so if you just get green and blue, and then you can do like your your exterior colors like mix into that. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent command. Okay, so when you approach someone about a mural, like let's say I'm cold calling, there's a new um coffee shop that's going into town, and I would love to do something for them. It's kind of they. It's um, an orchard, an apple orchard up here, and they have apple-based products. And I was thinking, you know, maybe an apple theme or whatever. But I really want to approach her with something, the seller on it. And I was just wondering how you go about, you know, if you still have the cold call. I'm sure you get, so, you know, you don't yeah. have to get, or when you did. <laughs> So I actually don't have to still call. I don't have to cold call anymore, which is so nice and which is something you can look forward to. Right. But in the beginning, I'd say there was like a solid year where I just felt like I was just going around doing a lot of extra work on mock-ups that was just, I was just hardly getting paid anything, but it pays off. So you're doing, you're perfect for thinking to do this and you're going to do this. So what I found is the best is whenever I go to someone and say like they have a wall and I'm like, oh, this wall right here would be perfect. I have an idea for you. And then I show them pictures and I show them either pictures of my other work that I've done for either other businesses or something, or I'll find a really cool Google photo. So if you want to cut down your, your time quite a bit, I'll find like a really cool photo on Google of an idea that's similar to what I want to do. And I'll be like, okay. like, I will, I want to try this, but we can customize it to you. That way you're getting a little bit of their feedback because people love customization. I think that's right. like the key to doing murals. People can decide what they want. So as long as you give them, you make like, as long as you give them something visual that they're like, Oh, I kind of like that. Cause like just going in and be like, hi, I'm an artist. I would love to do right. for you. They're, they're like, okay, like show me what you can do. You know, talk right. me into it, sell me. And so if you can't find something exactly, maybe just do like a, a quick sketch or whatnot. Cause there's, there's a couple of times where I've done mock-ups for things downtown that never panned out, but that's okay because the ones that did did and then I got to you know they build on it so okay so just do a mock-up and okay yeah yeah and maybe find find some like google or or pinterest photos of something similar to of like different styles be like we can do this or this or that that way they you really just the key is just to get them to see something they like 
And sometimes that's throwing a few things at them. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this. this." And then they'll, everybody has a different taste and everybody Uh has different what they want. And it's so funny though, because like you, like there's so many times where you could, you want to go to these certain places and I'll go there and be like, you know, we've been thinking about doing that. And it's like, oh yeah. (laughs) Right. Right. Okay. Perfect. And then your print, I'm interested in doing prints of my previous work, you know, for residual income. And you offer something like that on your, your membership program, right? Or do you have a, a part of your program that goes in more detail with that? Or? Yeah. So sorry, this, so the print perfect program is actually the first one that I ever created. And okay. it's actually, so if you go into my library, so mm-hmm. it, in your, your artistcanopy.co website, go to my library and then it's right there and it'll just take okay. you through like a bunch of the options, all the sizing, all the pricing and all the stuff. Okay. You use this. Do you recommend a printer in that? That you so use no, you... I, okay, okay. I have always outsourced my printing and just, yeah, cause there's, and I found one place locally that's really good. And I'm actually trying to currently find a really good drop shipping company that also plugs into Shopify, uh, which okay. is my, my website. So I'm on the hunt right now for that, but I will let everybody know as soon as okay. I find one. <laughs> that's good. Okay. I had more. The NFTs, what program are you using to create the the um, the movement yeah the yeah. animation so it's the easiest thing in the world it's so it, 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 thank you yeah it's so, so cool yeah there, I downloaded this app it's called Motion Leap um just okay. one one word Motion Leap and it has a little fox on it and I downloaded it forever ago I was like oh this is cool I just like played around with it and then I uh, just like recently when I did an an NFT, like I put one together, I just made some motion, put it up. And ever since I've just been like playing around with that app and it's just, it's really just, you just tap on it and it does all these crazy things. And I just find the, the motion that best fits with that painting to like, to where it's not like the whole thing isn't going crazy or whatever, but it has a little bit, but like, so you can, yeah, but it doesn't take away from it. It doesn't take away from it. Um, are you using an iPad for that when you're doing that app or do you use your, your desktop? I just use my iPhone. Oh, your iPhone? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do everything. Like I do all of my video is on my iPhone camera. All of everything is on my iPhone. I live on my phone, my schedule, my notes, my, like if I have to write something down, it's going to get lost. So like everything is on the phone. Okay. So you're using OpenSea to drop them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And he's um in his early 30s. Anyway, he's really into NFTs and he gave me one. And I'm like, man, this would be the perfect thing to get into. So anyway, <laughs> when you did that, did the recent podcast, I was like, oh my gosh, how fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> did you listen to the one with Aloe today? Yeah, I got through half of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. I just started it this morning. So yeah, I'm. I guess the murals too, like you started this mural tour, I guess, in your city for photo apps. Yeah. That kind of thing. I think that's awesome. So now that's on my to-do list. So (laughs) um, how long did that take you to complete and how did you go about it? So, uh, so you're in a small mountain town right now, right? So like, there's not a lot of art there yet or? There's a mosaic mural. It's one that I live near the Sequoias, so oh. people travel through our town all the time to go up to the park. It's not oh. the national park, but it's the it's the national forest. But there's lots of trails and things, so we have a lot of people traveling through. We do have a mural, a mo- mosaic on a wall, but that's it. And there's several buildings around town that could be muraled up. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that my my head is spinning with like sequoia mural <laughs> stuff, right? And like, oh, you could even do like a welcome to your town mural, like you know, like a, okay. a we have a like a, a greeting. I pitched, and it was a process to get the greetings from Springfield mural because Springfield. And I live one. in Springville. <laughs> oh yes, <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah, you have the perfect opportunity. It so it started slower. So I started with the butterfly wings. And uh-huh. that one, I love if you, uh-huh. do you have wings in your town yet? No, not yet. Okay. After, do that one I'm first. Like chomping at the bit. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> and yeah. And just really, you can go to like, even like if you're pitching to someone, show them my page and be like, okay. look, 
this girl did this in Springfield and they blew up and now they're all over the world and whatever. And like, cause like that one, like I all the time try to outdo the wings, but everybody, that's what everybody wants. Like, that's like the thing that everybody like is like, Oh, I gotta take a picture of that. And that's what really jump started it. So like I made that one, the one wings one. And then a bunch of like, like I, I always say, like, you're not a sorority girl in Springfield if you haven't taken your picture with the wings. <laughs> so like it's all over right. Tinder, it's all over everywhere. And oh, so awesome. <laughs> yeah, and a bunch of people. So that uh, that was basically like my trial one. So I took the success of that one. I did that one for free, and I showed all the other businesses that I was pitching to, like, look how much traffic this one's getting. We can create a custom one for you, and that really helped. So I, that's if you you're in the okay. perfect position to just do exactly what I did. <laughs> right, right, right. I had an idea of um. We have a lot of red tail hawks here, so I was kind of trying to do something that was had to do with the community, you know? I just don't know. You can definitely do the hall, though. You could make it beautiful. You could make them, right. like, with, like, maybe some feathers coming off or, like, something coming off the sides or I don't know. Uh-huh. You could, because right. I've done owl wings. I've done eagle wings. I've done okay. a bunch of different stuff. So, yeah, okay. people just love it, especially the bigger the better, I've noticed. And okay. it doesn't necessarily, like, the bigger doesn't necessarily mean, like, more time and more detail. It's just... People love big things and they like really like just, so if you can maybe make them go like, how, okay, I did these, one, wait, hawk wings. Do hawk wings kind of come in like this, right? I, I guess they could. I'll, they I'll could. send you some photos. Yeah. And like oh the, yeah, they curl around, yeah. Okay, yeah, just to make them yeah, as big as possible to come up. And cause I'm just, I'm now pitching some wings or I guess, yeah, some wings for Lake of the Ozarks, which isn't very uh-huh. far from here. Okay. And I'm doing them like that to try, cause it's like a square wall and I'm like, how can I make them And it looks bigger? like they're hugging them. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's been on my mind. We also have some restaurants that are going in, you know, and it's mostly, I would say this town is a cross between cowboys and hippies. Like we've got a little bit of you know. So it's all over the place. Mine is all cowboys. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We have a lot of cowboys up here. And there's lots of water. We have a river that runs through town. So I was thinking about water. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. So I'm really excited to to get started on this. Awesome. I guess my 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 I just don't know. I guess I'm just approaching people is the thing. I'm running a room yeah, that's probably the like, how do I do it to, to win them over? I'd say, so one tip for pricing is let me know your budget and right. okay. let, let them. And if, if they refuse, if they're like, I don't know how much this costs, whatever. And I usually tell people a range, be like, well, you know, like, so if, if I was just starting out, even though I, so I did the first one for free. So you could go I, that I'm, route. I'm up for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But other ones that you're pitching, I use like a safe bet. It's like, you know, they, like they can range between 500 and $5,000. So I'll make one to fit whatever you are. And sometimes people will be like, Oh, I want to spend a thousand. I'll be like, okay, great. Um, Because like also like, (laughs) like like, because putting out that 5,000, they're like, Oh, it can go all the way up there. Well, like in, in in comparison, a thousand doesn't seem like much, but if you were like, this is a thousand dollars for this, they're like, whoa, that's a lot. Like it's such a mind game. But yeah, just, just talk to them. Like, I want to do this for you. This could be really good for your business. It'll draw, especially with the photo op art. That's a much easier sell, I think. And like, this is going to draw people in. They're going to tag your business. That that's a big one. Right. Right. Tell people. Yeah. 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 So you really just have to believe in it and you can, and you do do. (laughs) because it's already, it's already been done, but, but not where you are. So everybody where you are is going to think that this is like, like they don't know me. So they're going to be like, this is the most amazing thing. Like there's, it's so funny. There's some other people who go to other towns and they'll see wings and they're like, are those yours? And I'm like, no. (laughs) And those were way before me. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah. We have um, a local junk store too, and I know the owner, and I think she'd be interested. We'll see. She has, she calls junk in the trunk sales once a month, and people from all over, you know, put up booths and come downtown. So I would love to get something on hers too. And it's a small building, but it's it's also flat. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one of, yeah, one of the other buildings I was looking at. It's an old brick building, and I'm like, ooh, do you put up like concrete board at all, or do you mm-hmm. usually just 
paint right over the surface of hair. Yeah, I just paint right over the surface. And you can you can use primer if you want to. I typically don't. <laughs> I don't know. Like my, my local paint store, they're always like, use primer. I'm like, why do you hate primer? Like, it's just I know, another it's like step. That, that, that. I know. <laughs> it saves your paint from soaking in. And some people like to start with a white background and a care. Like, right. What would you use on brick? What do you ex- generally use most? Yeah. So there's, I use this exterior. It's exterior ultra spec. So ultra okay. S P E C. And it's just an exterior. It's kind it's just like a medium grade exterior okay. paint it's not like okay. the best of the best but it's not the cheapest say it's around like 30 35 dollars a gallon and i typically get like oh yeah also have you been through the, the mural master course yet i joined last year during covid so i went okay. through some of it and then okay. things went crazy so anyway yeah, yeah. i'll be doing that again <laughs> okay yeah yeah I, was, I just show you exactly what the can looks like too okay, and like perfect. a bunch of stuff like like a drop cloth like to bring and like rollers can help too so i just show like the rollers and then like, i typically use like a small medium and a big brush just to have them and do you have help on some of these or do you do uh, them alone so I know for you've had projects where you had people join you i wish i could have done that last year yeah. Yeah. Yes and no. Um, uh, I I'll bring Artist Academy people out, like the local ones or ones within like a few hours drive. They'll they'll uh-huh. typically reach out and I'll be like, hey, yeah, c- come out to this one, and they'll help and I'll like teach and stuff like that. And then some, I, I've gone back and forth on like having like permanent help. I've just my schedule is so it changes so much. So right. I've found that whenever I have somebody showing up every week, it's like, hey, sorry, this this customer had to reschedule so I'm gonna work on canvases and they're like then they have to reschedule theirs and it, but yeah so right sometimes <laughs> okay so your canvas business how do you where are your customers coming from so recently I'm having more and more coming from LinkedIn yeah it was just wow. crazy but That's I took odd. Yeah, I know, right? There, there's a whole like, there's a whole LinkedIn training too in the academy. Oh, okay. If you want to check that one out, it's under the okay. the social media section. I go through. Although I recorded that like almost a year ago, and uh-huh. so I need to update that one because it's more and more. So like, I started off like just posting here and there, and like having like connecting with people I knew. But LinkedIn has a really great algorithm, meaning like if I like one of your photos, everybody mm-hmm. who's following me will see that I liked it. And it's easier. Like the algorithm is much better than here and on Facebook. So, and okay. also it's people who are businesses, like business owners who I really right. want. That makes sense. I yeah. think of, yeah, jobs and businesses. So I yeah. think you are a business, but I <laughs> think of that as a... I know. Isn't that funny? Yeah. That's and then awesome. Here, so LinkedIn, I wouldn't... I don't know that I would say it's my top one, but mm-hmm. it's just standing out to me more and more now. But um, or and Facebook and Instagram here, okay. yeah, it's kind of a mix. It depends. Like sometimes, like I'll have a summer where it's like all Facebook, and then uh-huh. I'll get a couple in Instagram, and then the next year it's flips, and it's like all Instagram and hardly any Facebook. I'm like, I don't right. know. do you sell your original work or do you sell the reproduction? Yeah. So I sell the original. It's a lot harder for me to sell like original canvases that I create on my own with my own imagination. Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier to sell custom commissions. Yeah. It's hard to yeah. Mm-hmm. So. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I think that's that. for everybody unless, yeah, it's, it's just, it's tough, but it's not impossible, but there's been some that I've held onto for two or three years and then they finally sold. So I'm like, cool. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm selling great. NFTs of them and which is great. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's crazy. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, great. I guess that's pretty much everything I have to ask. You had today. great questions. This is this okay, been a good. really good conversation. Thank you for coming okay, so great. prepared. This yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You really stood out to me from the start when I found mm-hmm. you last year. I'm like, wow, she has like so much information. You do. You have so many, and all of your. You've taken so much time. <laughs> to do everything you have in that academy too i'm like wow it's impressive thank it you really I'm, i've always I'm... had ideas to do that kind of thing but i don't do it so yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and now yeah we're at a point where i'm like i finally have all the information pretty much in the academy right. i'm like now i've been taking it easy for the last month and i've had this like little pull of people and an idea that like hey let's create like an up level group of people who like have stuff going on and i've had people reach out so now we're in the middle of creating like a masters program that's like with hiring and like just like after you kind of established the the art business after you've made some money with it and now we're doing like a masters program with yeah so maybe look forward to that <laughs> yeah that'd be great okay. <laughs> 
Well, Mm. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. It's good that we got to meet and let me know if you have any questions ever. Instagram is definitely the best way to reach out to me if you have any stuff. And I will send you some of the wing mock-ups that I... Yeah, that'd be great, Andrew. Yeah. Just to get some ideas. Yeah. yeah, and also feel free when you're pitching too. Use my photos. Sure. Be like, okay, this is what I can do. Like, I I have people okay. do that all the time. Like, yeah, there, there's okay. this girl in uh, New York. One of the girl, um, Brianna. She's here in the Arts Academy, and she was like, "Can I like basically reproduce yours, but with a different color?" I'm like, "Sure." <laughs> Just like okay, tag awesome. me as like, yeah, they are yeah. so pretty. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah cool. for sure. Just tag me as like inspired by or whatever. And, okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're good. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you need okay. anything. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks, Andrea. Bye. Bye. And that's it. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Artist Academy podcast. As I mentioned in the beginning, this was a student spotlight episode with a current Artist Academy advanced member. So if you're listening to this and thinking, I too have some questions that I could really use some answers for, you know, to help me decide what direction to go in next. If that's you, if that popped into your head at all, then I want to invite you to join the Artist Academy advanced and book one of these one-on-one student spotlights directly with me on a Monday. We can do them live on Instagram to help grow your following, or we can just do it privately, just you and me, and I can answer all the questions that you bring. You choose. You know, I do these every Monday with current members of the Academy who need that little extra bit of guidance, and I'd be happy to chat with you too. So if that's you, go to artistacademy.co to apply and join. Simple, artistacademy.co to apply and become a member, and we can get to chatting. Okay, I'll see you next week.